What is up everybody? This is Shields again with Carolina Custom Homes of Burlington. Today I'm in Oxford, North Carolina. I'm gonna be taking you through another one of those Heartland plans. This is the Heartland One, 1548 square foot. What you're gonna to see today is the three bed, two bath with a large side loading utility room as far as the floor plan goes. Uh, outside or, or with the front porch there, you're looking at an optional slash site built front porch. All of the Heartland plans are gonna consist of that optional slash site built front porch. So what that tells you is you can go big, small, save it for later, do a six by 30, a six by 10, like you're seeing here. Um, so it's completely up to you. But what you're seeing there is a six by 10 um, gable front porch. You got the nice vertical siding up there in the gable sitting on a full foundation as well. The nice uh, vinyl wrap pickets and post. I'm um, gonna walk you around the side and the back real quick. <clears throat> White gutters and downspouts to match the lineals. Everything we do is a 712 roof pitch. There you've got the uh, utility room door, that side loading utility room there. Around back, you're gonna see your heat pump, your panel box your meter box and then you've got your um, deck off the sliding glass door so all the heartland plans you have the option to option in an additional exterior door off the dining room like this customer did and then obviously you can do steps decks porches whatever um, so a really nice um, deck here you've got the the uh, composite board decking very durable vinyl wrap pickets and posts just a really nice deck okay so let's go back to the front pull this door shut so again this is the heartland one i believe i've taken you through a few of these now um, obviously they look completely different because again, this is totally up to you, but you got a cute little, uh, six by 10, nice little porch there. Let's get in here and take a look. Really, really good size living room to be 1548 square foot. Some of the big hitters I'll go ahead and tell you as far as upgrades that this customer went with. Um, number one, you're seeing the nine foot ceilings. Um, you are also seeing the LVP, the luxury vinyl plank throughout, closets, everything. Um, now we start you with luxury vinyl plank in the main spaces in the wet areas. So if you're gonna go to flooring throughout, you're really only gonna see a cost for the bedrooms, bedrooms and closets. Um, all the recessed lighting that you're seeing in this video would be included. It's your included front door, included casings, but a really nice open concept, tons of floor space right here. I mean, to be 1548 square foot, um, a really good size living room, which opens up to that open kitchen there. You are seeing quartz countertops in this kitchen. Another one of those optional upgrades there. She went with the nice sparkling quartz countertops that we show in our model, our Salem model. You're seeing an example of the 12 inch backsplash. So you have the option to do the six inch or the 12 inch subway tile. You're also seeing the ice white cabinets. Keep in mind the leg gray and the white uh, ice white cabinets are both 1000 bucks for the entire home. Once you pay that 1000, if you want to do, say you pay the 1000 for the white, 
okay, and you wanna do an optional or kind of an accent island here with a dark gray, or you wanna do your bathrooms in the pepper color or the, the late gray, um, all of that would be included in that $1,000 upgrade charge there. Um, nothing changes as far as the cabinet. So it's not like um, you're getting a lesser cabinet if you don't go to the white. They're all gonna be dovetail construction. They're all gonna be full extension. They're all gonna be soft clothes. So it's an upgrade purely based on color. There you're seeing the included range hood the farmhouse sink which is really cool it comes with all these little gadgets here um chopping board that you can take in and out you've got a drying rack here okay and then and then you got your awesome little you know coffee bar area there and then you've got your pantry area directly off that kitchen. Always gonna be one of the best, uh, one of the best pantries really across the board. Tons and tons of storage space. And then you've got your water heater closet right here. Included lever handles, in included two panel doors, good looking, sharp looking doors there. Um, and then this would be a good example of the client of uh, the appliance shelf. So people who like the rain should, you know, bring up, you know, what do we do with the microwave? You've got a lot of options. You can do a microwave nook, um, in a wall cabinet, but a lot of people are going to the microwave or the appliance shelf in the pantry. Um, as an outlet, you can put a microwave there, you know, um, a nice way to kind of hide it instead of sitting in on the countertops. Got your dining area directly off the kitchen. Like I said, when I was outside, all the Heartland plans start you with a double window there. Actually, it might be a single window. Um, and you can option in the slider, you can option in the atrium door. Um, you can do whatever you want at that point. Uh, this customer obviously built a really nice deck off of that slider that I kind of already showed you with the composite decking and all that good stuff. Nice screen door for the slider. All right, I'll kinda go through the bedrooms real quick. You've got your two um, spare bedrooms here, both the same size, both have a uh, Nice closets in them. Like I said, flooring throughout. A double shelf closet there. Okay. That's bedroom two. Bedroom two, just took you in it. Here's bedroom three, similar to what you just saw. I'll show you, okay. All right, and then if, if you noticed um, to the right, so bed two, bed three, and bath two right here. Got your very, very good looking interior sinks there. She did option in the four foot transom window over the bath two tub shower. I would call that window right there. Um, an upgrade to the natural light. And then you've got that fantastic side loading utility room. One of the best utility rooms across the board. You got your washer and dryer hookup area there. Some shelving running wall to wall there. You've got your utility room uh, mounted in a base cabinet. You can option in the cubby utility room or the uh, um, the cubby bench slash hat rack type thing that we show in the green briar and our Stanley model. And you can also option in um, a window there for more natural light. Um, here is your exterior door. Very convenient. 
very easy to add a garage to on later and it just kind of makes sense. You don't have to walk around the house to get to your front door or your back door. It's already ready for you right there as you get out of the car. I just love that little coffee bar area there. Um, while I'm thinking about it, here's the floor plan. Like I say, I've, I've done a number of these Heartland videos at this point. They all are kind of, uh, they all kind of revolve around the, the, the same, you know, idea as far as the, the, the middle of the house. You know, they're all that open concept, that L-shaped kitchen, big pantry. Um, they come, all the Heartland plans are, are really, you know, very similar. They just range in sizes as far as, you know, as little as 1327 square feet, as much as uh, 2089 square foot. So, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, but as of say two weeks ago, every Heartland plan has the option to add that third module third additional pod off of the front to take on more of that T-Ranch look. So if you're on our website, look at the Heartland T-Ranch or go to any Heartland plan and go to the pictures and you will see the option to add, in most cases, a fourth bedroom or an additional study off the front, which would also include a factory front porch. So. Go to the Heartland 2, for example, or Heart, go to the Heartland 1, and you'll see in the pictures, you have the option to add that third pot off the front, which would include a fourth bedroom and a factory porch. At that point, if you do add that third pot off the front, you would no longer have a site-built front porch. The porch would be included in the price, whereas your traditional Heartland plans the front porch is added on, on site. So big difference there. Um, here's that master closet. Really good master ba uh, bedroom size. I believe this is bathroom option three with the 60 inch shower and the tub. You got a lint, nice double linen cabinet there, double vanity, garden tub, toilet area, and that 60 inch shower. Now they start you with fiberglass there. You can also option to tile that area. Um, if you would like, you can add the rain head if you would like, you can add the transom window if you would like. All of those are options with that 60 inch shower. Um, I wanted to go to the floor plan to kind of explain the T-Ranch to you one more time. So all of the Heartland plans, like I said, are one, two, one, two, one, two, two piece plans. So that means the front porch is built on site and it's optional as far as size and all that. But now in the Heartland plans, you can add that third module on the front. So then it would be one, two, three, one, two, three. And in that third module, you'll have a fourth bedroom and a factory front porch included in that third module. So that is now an option on any of the Heartland plans. Um, so keep that in mind. Again, my name is Shields, S-H-I-E-L-D-S, at, oh, my email is shields at ncustommodulars, with an S, dot com. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you found this video helpful in any way, please like this video, spread the word, email me if you have questions. Our office number is 336 Two two six nine zero six six. I do work off commission, so please ask to speak with me if you came to us because of me. Um, forgot to point out the hardware. Those are really good looking pools. That um, those are your optional pools there. Really good looking. 
So yeah, Heartland 1, 1548 square foot. You saw the nine foot ceilings a day. You saw the shower and tub, uh, both the shower and the tub in the master bathroom. You saw the fancy quartz countertops, the good looking white cabinets, the awesome utility room. If you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you guys, take care.